Split pea soup is my number one favorite soup. When I was a kid, my mom used to make it on Sundays, but you can make it any day of the week and it'll be just as delicious. So today we're gonna make split pea a little faster than normal. Instead of taking 40 minutes on the stovetop, I'm gonna use my pressure cooker and it'll be done in 10 minutes. So a split pea is just a pea that's been dried, the skin's been removed, and then it's split in half. You can get yellow split peas or green split peas. The green tends to be a little more sweet and doesn't matter. Use whichever ones you want, whichever ones you can find. So let's start off by browning some vegetables. We're gonna start putting the pressure cooker on to brown. We're gonna add a little bit of butter. You can use oil if you prefer. We're gonna start by browning. We're just sauteing our carrot, onion, and celery, also known as mirepoix. And just let it saute lightly until they just start to soften. In a perfect world, you're making split pea soup right after you've had ham for dinner. So you have a leftover ham bone. That's fantastic. Often that bone has a little bit of meat left on it, which we're gonna use later. If you don't have a leftover ham bone, don't worry. You can go to the store and you can get a smoked ham hock. You can find these in the butcher section or in the frozen food section. We're gonna add that ham hock. It's gonna give us a nice, salty, smoky flavor to our split pea soup. And then you're gonna go to the deli department, you're gonna get some ham and chop it up. That's gonna substitute for the ham bone. But really, make sure the next time you have a ham, make split pea soup. And we're gonna add a few more things. We're gonna add some fresh thyme. Just a few thyme sprigs like this are perfect. In goes our garlic, and stir everything together. Just until everything starts to soften just a little bit. So once the vegetables are nice and soft, we add our split peas. Stir them around just to get them nicely coated with the oil or butter. And then we're gonna add some water. Now you could add, if you wanted to, chicken stock here, but I like to add the water because I really want the flavor of the peas and the ham. Last thing to do is season this with some salt and pepper. Go easy on the salt to begin with because this has a ham hock in it, which is already salty. Let's get our lid on. And here's the great part of using a pressure cooker. We're gonna set it for 10 minutes. So once that timer's gone off, just turn the cooker off and let the pressure drop naturally. That will give the split peas even more time to break down and thicken that soup. Once that pressure has dropped, all we have to do now is take a look at it. But remember, we have to remove that ham hock. Find it in the soup and bring it out. Now if there's any extra meat on here, you can pull it off and add that to the soup if you want to. We're going to just discard that because remember we went and we got ham, we diced it up, so we're ready to add this to the soup. Then stir that in. Now this is a chunky split pea soup, that's the kind I like. If the soup's a little too thick for you, thin it with a little bit of water or chicken stock, whichever you use, but get ready to serve it. Mmm, it's pretty, it's rustic, it's comfort food. We're gonna put a little bit of sour cream on top as a garnish, but other things you could use, you could put some croutons on if you like. You could uh, just serve it with some crusty bread. Of course, one thing that I never go without here is some black pepper. And there you have it. That's 10 minutes split pea soup out of a pressure cooker. Serve it up for Sunday or any day. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more of the basics, click right over here. If you'd like to see everything I used in this recipe, click over here. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for more basics, put them right down in the comment section below.